think my microphone might just be broken. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what the hell I did to it. Uh, I don't really care. I think it might it might just be, like, the heat or something. I might just have to get a new one. I don't fucking care. Also, uh, sorry for my voice. I just got done, uh, I was just crying and screaming <laughs> uncontrollably because I just watched Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0. Thrice upon a time, finally, after, like, how, how long was it? Like, an eight-year wait? <laughs> let, me, let me put this into perspective. I, I, I fucking love Evangelion. It's one of my favorite anime ever. I love it so much. I've been waiting for this movie for, a, for ages now. I don't even, I don't even know, like, for a while I thought it was just like, okay, this is probably never gonna come out. This is gonna be, I don't know, what what the hell's it? like the vaporware of anime or something like something that just doesn't exist and never will exist. But now it has, and I've seen it, and I cried. <laughs> like how I like how I first got into Evangelion was hearing about 3.0 getting delayed, and then after 3.0 came out, all all the times so that like. 3.0 plus 1.0 got delayed. Like, back when we were still calling it 4.0. Like, it's just, it's just, oh my god, okay. I, I'm just, and I don't, I don't even know what the hell to say right now. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to, like, make a video discussing my thoughts on the movie and everything. But I, I, uh, that was, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot, you guys. That movie, I'm, like, spent. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, where to, where to start with this? First of all, the dub. Oh my god. I am so happy that they got the original cast back. Like, fucking Spike Spencer and Tiffany Grant and Allison Keith and John Swayze and fucking Brett Weaver. I didn't know Brett Weaver was gonna come back, but he did. And fucking Amanda Whitley as Ray. I thought she retired, like, years ago. I didn't know. I didn't think they would bring her back. I thought they would just get, like, Brina Palencia from the Funimation dubs or, what's her name, Ryan Bartley from the Netflix dub. But no, they they went with the very original Ray. They went with a went with Amanda Winley, and I'm so happy they did that. And she did a really good job. I Ray, let me just let me just say this right now. Ray is best girl. Ray is my best girl. I love her so much. I I mean, if you have a different opinion on best girl, that's fine. Uh, I respect your opinion. Misato is also a contender, especially in this movie, because holy shit, Misato, I love you so much. This is, uh, I don't know, I'm just like, just ranting, decompression, all this. I don't even know what the fuck to say right now. I don't have a script or anything. I kind of want to just make this a thing of like me, you know, unscripted, talking about things I like. I feel like that would be fun. But yeah, okay. So, the dub, the soundtrack, the soundtrack is so fucking good. Shiro Sagisu is like, I, I love, I love his stuff. I love his stuff on the original Evangelion soundtrack. I love the, the Kare Kano soundtrack that he did. Uh, oh, fuck. What else did he do? What else did he do? Um, like the F4 Gridman and Dinazanon, I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it, I haven't seen it, but the bits I've heard from those soundtracks are really, really good. Shiro Sagisu, oh my god, knocked it out of the fucking park with the soundtrack. It was so good, and, like, I, I could hear, like, like, tiny bits of, like, the soundtrack from, like, the original series and, like, End of Evangelion and just all of that, and I was just like, oh my god. And, like, I, I had already seen... Um, the, uh, like, the opening scene where they're in Paris. Spoilers, by the way. The opening scene where they're in Paris. I had already seen that when it got leaked from Japan Expo. Like, I want to say, like, two years ago. And then I saw it again when they streamed the first ten minutes online. Back when the movie came out in March, I believe. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't care. But, like, the music was so good. I love that, like, the, like, Spanish guitar version of Decisive Battle. 
That that song is so fucking good. And like the the like they had like vocal songs in this movie and it was so so fucking good. They were so pretty. They were so so pretty. And like I I really I really enjoyed hearing Megumi Hayashibara sing a song in these movies again cuz I just, uh, uh, I love anime, you guys. <laughs> I love anime, and I love music, and I love Evangelion so much, and the voice cast, they all did such a good job. The the new voices that they got for the dub took a little bit for, of getting used to, especially for Ritsuko and Sakura, but, like, they they all did good jobs. Uh, they all did a good job. Uh, the music was amazing. The animation, this, this was just, it was just so pretty. Like, the, like, the fight scenes were so pretty, and, like, the introspective, like, mindfuck scenes were so pretty, because it's not Evangelion without a mindfuck, am I right, guys? And, like, it was, it was all just so pretty, like, the bit with, like, with, like, Asuka in, in Unit 2, and she sees, like, it, it's either her, like, human self, or, like, her mom, I don't fucking know, but, like, I got, like, Die Buster vibes from that, like, with her hair, especially. Also, Asuka, are you alive? Because I don't, I don't remember seeing you in the last scene. Please tell me Asuka's alive. Like, I, I really liked Asuka in this movie. I really liked her. I thought, like, wow, she actually has something of a personality and something of a character in this, because that was a big gripe that I know a lot of people have with 2.0, which I don't know. Okay, 2.0 was my favorite of the original trilogy before this movie. I think it probably still is. But yeah, that doesn't change the fact this movie was amazing anyway. But like, I, I really liked Asuka in this movie. She, I, she was great. I mean, not that part where she was like force feeding Shinji. I thought that was kind of weird. But like everything else, yeah, she, she was great. Mari. I I'm I was probably one of the few people who actually liked Mari in 2.0 and 3.0. I know she didn't really have much of a purpose for being there other than to probably just steal Toji's thunder and we'll get to Toji. We will get to fucking Toji, but Mari, I really like Mari. I really like her design. I like her personality. Uh I love yeah, I I thought she was great. What the fuck was she doing in this movie? <laughs> Like, I, I, I probably missed some stuff. I'll probably have to go back and rewatch this movie at some point soon. Probably not now, because I'm just so fucking drained. But I must have, like, missed something, because I guess Mari had plot relevance, and I missed it. And then she and Shinji, like, maybe hooked up at the end? I don't know. But Kaori was alive, everybody was alive, and they were happy, and they all moved on to have their own lives. That's literally all I wanted from this movie, was for these kids to have happy endings, and not have to go through all this traumatizing bullshit anymore. And I got it! Thank you! I am happy. I am satisfied. What the- what- what was with Kaoru? Like, I- I had seen people online speculating, like, oh, what if there's, like, multiple timelines, and that's why this is called- this movie is called Thrice Upon a Time, and they fucking confirmed that, and I was like, okay, alright, I had a feeling that was where they were going to go with it, but okay. Kalru, first of all, Damon Mills, Damon Mills was really good. I really like Damon Mills. He's also great in Skate. I really need to, like, actually- watch Skate, but I'm waiting to get the Blu-ray for it. Um, but yeah, he was, he was really good as Kaoru. Uh, I thought, I thought he did a really good job, but yeah, Kaoru, Kaoru just kind of, like, showed up, and, like, they, they have, like, like, in, like, the last, like, 10 or so minute, like, 10, 15 minutes of this movie, they had, like, a bunch of scenes that were, like, callbacks to, like, Neon Genesis and, like, End of Ava and all of them, and they had a scene of Shinji and Kaoru on the beach like they were in episode 24 of Neon Genesis, and I was like, oh my god! And there was a scene, there was a scene of Asuka and Shinji on a beach as well, like in End of Ava, and I was like, oh my god! There were, there were a lot of oh my gods and holy shits and what the fucks said by me during this movie, you guys. That, that is, that is the reaction that I had to this movie, just like, 
what the fuck is going on? And, and, and Misato. Ah! Okay, so, Misato. Did she, I hope she came back at the end, because again, I didn't see her in that train station scene at the end. But, like, oh my god, and like, they're, she is a son with Kaji! And I was like, yes! Yes! Misato and Kaji had a kid! They got together, and then, like, son Kaji was like, nah, he died. And I was like, fuck! <laughs> fuck! He died! He, like, oh my god. But I, I, like, I, like, screamed when I saw, like, the Kaji name printed on the back of, like, his son's suit. I was like, holy shit, Kaji, Kaji's alive! Wait, wait, it's his son? Oh my god, it's his son! Wait, he died! No! And then Misato, Misato, like, sacrificed herself, and I was like, oh my god! Oh my god, this movie! This movie was so good! It was, oh my god, it was just like an emotional minefield, this movie, especially... If you're like me, and you've been with this franchise for a very long time, like, this was one of my first anime that I really, like, got to know and, like, fell in love with all the way back when I was, like, 12, 13, and, like, just getting into anime. Ugh. <sighs> Ritsuko did, like, nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Gendo. What the fuck was up with Gendo? <laughs> It's like the scene where, like, Ritsuko shoots him across the head and you see, like, the hole in his head and his brains. I was like, EW! What the fuck?! I don't- Where the hell did Gendo even go after that? Like, I don't- I don't even know. He, like, crossed the other- He, like- Do you, like, cross reality or something? Do you, like, move on to, like, a higher plane of existence? Or some- Or some bullshit like that? Or did he, like, finally get to be with Yui forever? Which, I mean, you know, fine, okay, uh, he's still, he's still a dick. And, like, what the hell was this scene with Kaji and Kaoru? Like, where they're, like, talking, and, like, Kaoru is, like, referred to by Kaji as, like, Commander Nagisa? Like, what the hell was that? This, I guess that was, like, an alternate reality or something, or, like, a fictional, like, meta heaven or something, because there was a lot of meta shit in this movie. There was a lot of meta shit. I'm usually not a big fan of meta shit, but this movie does meta shit really well. And then, and then Ray. I, I loved Ray in this movie. I loved Ray in this movie. She was so cute, and her, and she, like, looking around the village and, like, learning how to live and, like, learning how to be your own person and, you know, holding the baby and, and farming. I had seen, uh, like, screenshots of, like, Ray in, like, the farming hat thing online because assholes on the internet could not tag their fucking spoilers. So I saw some stuff. And, of course, that stuff was given away in the, like, commercials that Kara did. Because, of course, I bet they, like, no, we could not fucking resist. They could not fucking resist doing that. So, like, I was spoiled to that. But, like, just seeing it, I was like, oh, my God. She's, like, learning how to be her own person and learning how to live and learning how to hold hands. Hikari! Hikari and Toji got together! I was so happy, and they had a baby, and the baby was adorable! And I was also spoiled to Kensuke coming back, but I did not know that Toji and Hikari were in this movie, and I was like, yes! Yes! They all lived! And Toji and Hikari got together! I'm s I was so, so happy. Sorry, but <laughs> I knocked my headphones off. Um, but yeah. Did, did they- I hope they all made it out alive. I hope they all- went and got to be their own people, or whatever the fuck the ending of, that, of the movie is supposed to mean, because, of course, it's Evangelion. The movies and the, the endings can never make any fucking sense, but I love it! 
And like there were there were like like scenes where like they would show like the different state there was a scene like right at the end where like Shinji's on the beach and they show like different stages of the animation before Mari shows up and then like right at the end it's like pan over this like live action shot of Japan and like when I tell you I cried when I tell you I cried I I was just an emotional fucking wreck at the end of this movie. Holy Jesus! <sighs> and Shinji, oh fucking Shinji! Uh, I Shinji deserves all the love and happiness in the world. He really does. I love him so much. Spike Spencer, you did such a good job. I'm so happy to hear your voice again. And Shinji, just you know. Growing up and moving on and living his own life and making a new happy world for the rest of his friends and Ray's alive and Ray's like original soul came back from 2.0 and she had long beautiful hair and she got to go and be her own person and... I'm sorry I'm, I'm not I'm not like crying anymore I'm good I just I just what else is there to talk about? Uh, oh yeah, all the, like, go the fuck outside stuff. I love that this movie's message was basically stop indulging in this fictional bullshit and go outside, you Hidekiano. Uh, I love you, man. Go do whatever the hell you want. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna want to watch Shin Ultraman, because I'm not a big Ultraman person. Uh, I mean, I might, if it's good. I don't know, I haven't watched Shin Godzilla yet, either. Like, whatever the hell he decides to do after this, I'm good. I don't care if he never makes anime again. Just, just go do whatever the hell you want, man. You deserve it. Thank you for this franchise. Thank you for this movie. Thank you for everything. Oh, great master. I'm so excited to get that Gumbuster Blu-ray that's coming out, because, oh my god, that's gonna be so fucking good. I think think that's all I've got left to say. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't know what the hell was going on for, like, half of this movie. Like, Asuka was, like, part angel now, because she was in Unit 3 when it got corrupted, I guess. I mean, that part was awesome, and kind of gross, but mostly awesome. <laughs> there were a lot of parts in this movie that were, like, kind of like, you know, awesome, but also a, just a little bit unsettling, which is just like peak Evangelion. It's just like badass and disturbing and emotional, just all in one big beautiful package, and I loved every goddamn minute of it. This movie was amazing. This, this series was amazing. This franchise is amazing, and it has made me so happy. And now I can finally say that I have watched... Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0. And I, I'm wondering if it being released exclusively on Amazon Prime means we're not going to get a Blu-ray release. Uh, I hope that's not the case, because, I don't know, a, a Blu-ray would be nice, if for nothing else than just for the special features. And because I already have the Funimation Blu-rays for the first three movies, and I want to complete the set. Uh, real looking forward to that Blu-ray of the original series, by the way, G-Kids. Looking forward to seeing how much that's gonna cost. <laughs> and also seeing what dub you're gonna use. Uh, but yeah, I would love- I would love a Blu-ray. I would love a Blu-ray of this movie. I would love them to just, like, re-release all of the movies, because they all got redubbed for Amazon. I would love for them to just, like, release all the movies in a big fancy box set. Because I love big fancy box sets, and I want to own it. I want to own it. Uh, I don't know if I'll want to rewatch this movie again anytime soon. I probably will, because there's some stuff that I wasn't really paying attention to, because I was screaming over them. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I'd rank the movies. Um, 2.0... Out of the first three, 2.0 was my favorite. Uh, I think 3.0 plus 1.0 is probably going to be, like, right below that. I don't know. It's been a bit since I've seen the first three movies. I meant to rewatch them these past few days to get pumped for uh, 3.0 plus 1.0, but I just, like, forgot and got lazy. But, yeah. I'm... I am satisfied. I am satisfied having seen this movie and... 
ranted about how awesome and emotionally draining it was through this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I have animations coming out, uh, but they're taking a while. Like, I meant- there's this- I- I mentioned in the description of my last video that I was working on, like, a Lupin short film thing. That's still coming. I wanted to have it out by the 16th, because it's about Goemon, and the August 16th is Goemon's Miyazaki birthday, but that is not happening. I don't- not, I highly doubt I can make that happen by right now. So, that'll probably have to wait, but hey, at least there's this. At least there's something for me to, you know, get out this month so I can, you know, tide my uh, new patrons o over. Hey, I have a Patreon now! Link in the description! And I have a Redbubble that only has, like, three designs on it. But go check that out! Link link below! Follow me on Tumblr, I guess, as well. Um, I think that's all I've got. Uh, thank you for listening. I wondering what the hell I'm gonna do with this audio. Alright, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>